Why, hello there! How are you today? Awesome Soul here, and welcome back to yet another Robocraft bot review. This episode, I will be covering the Sausage 2.0 by HelloFresh. And it is a HelloFresh sausage shaped bot. Uh, painted, uh, possibly could have gone brown instead of orange. Don't know, uh. Well, maybe they didn't have the paint job. Never mind. That makes a bit more sense. No. <laughs> Uh, close enough, a very uh, spicy sausage, a lot of uh, herbs and spices inside of it. Although not really herbs, more more so just the spices, but anyways, that's not really uh, what I'm here to talk about. I'm not here to talk about the uh, tastiness of a uh, nice bratwurst, or hot dog, or sausage, or whatever you want to call them. I'm here today to talk about this bot, and this bot definitely seems to be a support bot first and foremost. Now, there are a few things that I would like to point out. Uh, two of the main complaints that I have with the bot, one of which, uh, very important, is the hovers. All of which are actually on the outside or exposed in some way. There is no actual internalized hovers that I can really, well, I was going to say can see, but the whole point of it is to not see them. So, I mean, I've been blown apart a few times, and I haven't really noticed anything exclusively inside. So, the main thing, if I could recommend only one thing, would be absolutely, by far, is to make sure you internalize every single hover, make sure it is completely covered all the way around. Ooh, sweet moves, man. You're not escaping from me. Anyways, off topic, now back on topic. I mean, it's always nice to throw in a bit of actual gameplay action into my commentary. But, because it's very important to actually cover all the hovers because they have uh, the lowest, or if not some of the lowest health per CPU of any part. And it's uh, a pretty big problem, so I would definitely recommend actually covering everything. And when I say covering, I mean like, at the very least, two layers of cubes thick of protection. Um, possibly some electroplating if you want to get fancy with it. Like, But only do that if you know what you're doing and, you know, damage routing. Although that's not exactly a thing, but there is still kind of a way. Maybe I'll get into that some other time. Anyways, the other thing I would like to talk about is the lasers on the back. Or sorry, the, the nanos on the back. The lasers are on the front. Yes, business in the front and party in the back. Goodbye to that little guy. So yes, the nanos on the back are a little bit of a problem to those who prefer to go with camera control steering. It seems like it was definitely meant for keyboard control steering, or it definitely had that in mind when the creator made it. Let me just put that down, and maybe this was a bad idea. I am a support bot, not a front lines bot. There we go. So yes, the, the lasers on the back, if you want to actually get your full efficiency, you actually have to turn the bot around, and unfortunately that means you can't see what the heck is going on behind you. So you can't really see what you're healing, you just have to hope and pray that uh, you're doing a good job. <laughs> uh, no. He is dead. Oh well. So, some of the other more minor things with the bot. The fact that it has six of the lasers is actually a good thing. The uh, minimum you need is four, if I remember that correctly, so it's definitely far and above what you need. Uh, the thing is, though, they're all generally mounted in the same place, like at the very nose cone of the bot, as well as a few hovers that shouldn't be there as well but refer back to point one in the of the video. So, uh, what I would recommend is spread out the lasers a bit more, because if you lose that nose cone, you essentially lose, uh, it, I think it's like four of the lasers, and that's not a good thing, not in the slightest. So, definitely would recommend spreading them out a bit more, possibly put them on more rods. So they're connected to different parts of the bot, possibly even the back, perhaps? Then again, that's kind of where you have your nanos, so I don't know. 
Uh, the second thing, actually, is, or at least weapon-wise, is referring to the nows themselves. So, these, even with the power booster equipped in this bot, it is actually a massive power drain. So, what you could do is perhaps have two of the largest nanos, and then the rest as maybe... Actually, no, because going down a size, but then you would need more. So, yeah, two of the largest ones, and then maybe three of the mid-tier ones, just so you have a bit more of a constant output for healing. And the reason for that is uh, power consumption, obviously, plays into a big part of nanos. And the burst healing is really good if you have the power to uh, do the burst healing for the largest ones. But once you're at low power, the actual heal rate is worse than any of the other nanos. So the mid-sized ones still have a decent heal per second, even at low power. So mixing and matching wouldn't be such a bad idea. Now the only thing here is... Uh, taking off the, uh, the healer, the large healers rather, is going to lower their healing per second. So maybe once you unlock more CPU, I know you're not max CPU yet, you could actually fit in both somehow, and the rest of your CPU would go to actually bulking up the rest of this bot and just add a bunch of armor to it. Possibly electroplates if you want to keep your weight down, but generally it's the cubes that you want to be going for. Also, this back section is a little bit narrow. You could possibly add some more cubes up at the top on these sides here. And, uh, yeah, I guess the rest is up to you. So the modules, good choice. Lasers, also a good choice. Just need to move them and possibly move these. Or if you do prefer uh, keyboard control skewering, then it's not really that big of a deal. Anyways, guys, let me know what you think of the bot. And if you have any bots you would like me to check out, put those in the description. I, of course, have been the Awesome Soul. I thank you so much for watching. And I will see you next time. Take care.